what I want to do now is add an automatic page number system down here so I will create a line and snap it to the ends and set the thickness to two points and I'm also gonna here in my original it's blue yeah let me do it blue here so I'll select and color it cyan and here I need to add page number something so I'll zoom over this area remember this is an automatic numbering so whenever we add, whenever we add a new page it will be two three four so zoom over this area and now last time we shrank this and we created another part we can do this now or we can just add a text box here and say page but how do I create the automatic numbering I have to press control 3 on my keyboard it will give you less than hash and then more than automatically when you press control 3 in quark what this means is that it's going to increment the page numbers automatically. And now to hide the blue line, I will click down here for the box color and I'll choose white. And I will also center my text. So now, if I press F7, that's what I have. I save the file, of course. And now, I need to take all this and place it here but change some things like of course the image can be changed but I would probably change the layout of the page I'll create two images and two columns of text to make use of the columns that we created before last time we learned about the step and repeat let's press F7 we need to align the left side here if I press control alt D for step and repeat the vertical offset should be zero the horizontal offset should be the width of the page how wide is the page A4 21 centimeters so if I press OK I'm gonna get the other design exactly in place without needing to do anything did you understand this because you were talking yeah here I did not specify a page number if I zoom over it's still page number here and it's also page number over there so if I if I zoom out or just pan around here it also says page number it doesn't say page one page two but the new pages that I will create will have the automatic numbering so let's zoom out and change um, things in this page which is the right page so here for that one I'm gonna select my image and I'll shrink the image to this extent And I will duplicate this control here, here I'll press if I press control D where it will duplicate it will duplicate outside because it's moving with the same extent but I'll just bring it in doesn't matter all right so here we're gonna have two titles so I have title one and title two control D and bring this here now how can I align the two exactly I can select this one because I don't have a guide I can copy the Y value control C select that one paste in the Y value and then I would have the perfect alignment I don't need to change the images now because they'll be changed in the eventual pages but here for this paragraph title I'll just go like this so I have two columns and control D and I'll bring it in 
and again snap to the guide. So now I have two layouts, which means what? Which means that the right page, the left page will have one paragraph, one image, and the right page will have two. You can choose them to be the same or no, but I made them different so that you would know how this is done. Okay, so that's the A master A. Now, if you go to, to page one, remember it's at the right, so it's going to have two. And if we go down, it's going to say page one automatically. If I go to page two, which is here, it has one image and it says page two automatically. Right? So if I increase the number of pages, let's say right click, insert pages. After page two, I'm going to insert, say, four. In total, I'm going to have how many pages? Six. So that's page three, automatically, page four, automatically, and so forth. Let's save the file. Okay, do it, and then I'm going to be filling this up with different images and different articles.